from code to road. At Zoox, that's a long journey. And the path at Zoox goes from what we've already talked about, software development, controlled laboratory testing, to getting on the road. And that includes work at closed tracks, private roads, and public roads. But before we get on the road, let's talk about a key element of the Zoox safety system. That would be our Zoox safety operators. These are individuals selected thoroughly with interviews, exams, and driving tests. And they get 200 more hours of training, driving manually, autonomously, and learning all the systems of our vehicles. We instill in them key values of our Zoox safety culture. That includes disengaging anytime they perceive a potential risk in the environment. They learn to be vigilant while operating the vehicle. No mobile devices are allowed. And anytime they're encouraged to escalate any perceived issue that they see in the real world and take it higher to make sure it's addressed. One of the key parts of what they learn is how to understand the operating environment, the rows, the typical etiquette and behavior, as well as the capabilities and limits of our own vehicle. And that allows them to apply expert judgment so they can be a key part of building our safe system while we're operating on roads. At Zoox, we operate on roads in three different environments, closed tracks, private roads, and public roads, each one providing unique characteristics for us to develop, test, and refine our technology. On a closed track, we have an opportunity just to test the basics, speed, braking, controls, steering. And if we want, we can add things like stop signs or cones, but it's a controlled environment. We can move from there to private roads, which expands the environment. It's got curbs, it's got stop signs, it's got trees. It may have other people, could be pedestrians or bicyclists or scooters, but usually lower density and more controlled. And eventually public roads. Public roads give us a chance basically to test our full software stack with sensors in an integrated fashion in the real world. And this is critical. It is absolutely essential that we understand through all these different phases, eventually, how we're gonna be able to operate safely in the real world. For the last few years, Zoox has already been operating in San Francisco and Las Vegas. In these operating environments, we always have two safety operators whenever the vehicle's in autonomous mode. We're testing in different weather and road conditions. And most importantly, our engineering teams get an opportunity to see how our integrated software and hardware systems are actually operating in the real world. And we will develop, test, and refine our software and hardware to ensure that in the future, we set the bar for safety in autonomous mobility.